Let's have a look. I'm going to see what uh, scrap is. Well, we messed up the last one. The boards were a little bit too thin. Should have drilled a, <clears throat> should have drilled a pilot hole. So we split the wood. Well, we bought a drill. We did buy, bought a drill. Very nice little. It's cord. Why don't we use There's that drill? There's still cord on it. Um, <laughs> but we got some other wood from a free little scrap yard over there. <clears throat> it's uh, fenced up now, but it wasn't. We're gonna put the two, two beds. We're gonna do one today. Do another one here later. Fill it up. Start growing stuff here. And then you're working on. I am going to build a birdhouse. And I'm going to show you guys how to build a birdhouse. And uh, the birds are going to live there. I'm going to look at them. I'm not going to keep them because that's wrong. No cages for birds. No cages for birds. Free the birds. Yeah! This is not your first rodeo. <laughs> right, we have three bits. All right, now we got four sides for our god in bed. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, it's Sunday, November... 20th. 20th. No, it's not. Is it? It's 19th. It's the 20th. Okay. Just kidding. See, Kayla doesn't know. Quack, quack. It's Sunday, November 20th, and we're building front yard gardens. We wanted to do a four by four bed. We had uh, four foot pieces, but they were too thin. Now we're using this wood that's reclaimed from a lot of construction site right here in the neighborhood. And uh, it's, these are all about three foot, three inches. I'm just gonna nail them together. And then you just fill it up with good soil on top of it. Usually if you have this, there's this uh, like basically grass killer. It's this black material that you can lay on top of it. But you can also use newspapers. That's, I guess that's what we're gonna probably have to use. And you just lay it down so it kills the grass, slows the grass down, and you pour the good soil on top of that all the way up to the top. And then we're gonna do put nails here and tie strings across so that you can see the grid and basically a 4x4 four four bed with 16 plants so 3 foot by 3 inches 9? probably 9 yeah we'll probably go with that so we'll do that and then do another one there later on and this is in the front yard so everybody walking by will see what we're growing out here whatever we end up planting check it out more than hold it down keep it straight <laughs> She's got that double tap. I see it. There you go. You're going. Yeah. yeah. Take it home. Take it. Finish it. Woo. One more good one. Put that fucking nail right there. I don't have it. Hit it again. Put that one more time. Oh. There you go. So we put together the all the four walls. Like I said, it's about three feet, three inches instead of four feet, but it'll work. If it's four feet, you would do four grid, you know, you have 16 beds. So what we did is we measured across here, it's about 37 inches, so I'm just going like 12.3 inches, 12.3 inches, and I'm marking it off. And we're nailing the nails here, and we're gonna tie a string across this too after we lay in dirt, so that way you can visually see the different beds and what fits in there. So we'll have nine different beds in this little spot of different things that you can grow out here in the middle. Good enough. Just Probably threw it on. <laughs> As long as it's pretty much okay. There should be more cardboard in that freaking green recycling bin if we need. This is how you build a garden. Without asking for permission. Oh Fuck you, mom. I'm going to put a garden in my front yard. Look at that beautiful dirt. Farm dirt. Fifth Ward. Local. Houston represent. Rep, rep in the fifth. We already have curious neighbors. Oh. Yeah, I 
guess you're right. right. Get in there with your tippy toes and flatten that out. One more chemo savvy. Oh, that's good shit. Joy, my happiness. You stole it. <laughs> you stole it. The only thing I ever had. Here, chunks. Um, and yeah, so there's plenty of seeds. It's, it's winter. It's early. Early, you know, winter right now. <laughs> As you can tell by the Which doesn't sun. mean much in Texas. <laughs> this weather. just ridiculous, yeah. Last night I got done. Three. It's probably like 70 right now. It's just the sun's constant. Um, we can do peppers, we can do you know, more green. Some jalapenos. Those are easy. Like, I've grown squash and these things, cucumbers, beans. Tomatoes. This isn't squash like me. But a lot of those, like, I'm just, just, my point is you can grow all kinds of things. Now, you can grow squash here. You can grow vines. It's just you're going to want to pull them out so that they don't take over. It just takes a little bit of manicure. I'm delighted. If we could do peppers at this time of year, I don't know if you can plant them, but. Oh, we could definitely make peppers happen. Let's do it. Ta da! Beautiful. Our garden uh, built in less than an hour. Like I said before, it could be 4x4, four four, and then you have 16 beds. We're at 3 foot 3. Sun. This is like two o'clock in the afternoon, in mid-November. So we'll probably, I think we've decided we're gonna do peppers in here. And we have room to do another one right next to it. And everybody who's walking by the street will see food growing in the front yard and maybe get inspired to do their own front yard gardens. We're gonna plant some Malabar spinach. Some I can't see the name of this. Uh, Bloomdale spinach. Some Anaheim peppers. These are some peppers that a friend gave to me from Mexico, from Oaxaca, and some green beans and a couple other types of beans. So we got nine spots. So we'll do a couple, I guess we can do a row of spinach and a row of peppers and a row of beans. Oh yeah. Okay, one, two, three little guys, you're gonna be awesome. So we're putting four seeds and if they all grow, we'll have to thin them out later. Shit in you. I believe in you. Don't stress out. 